Come with me to the book of Matthew 26. Take your seat for a moment. Matthew 26, verse 6. Let's start from verse 6. Are you taking me there? Let's start from verse 6. Matthew 26, verse 6. Can we read together? Ready? Go. Continue verse 7. Can we go back to verse 6 again? And when Jesus was in Bethany, in the house of Simon, there, there, the leper. Now, majority of the time we read the scriptures, and we read the scriptures running, not taking our time to really look at the characters that the Bible is talking about. This guy was a leprous man. And leprosy in those days, in those days even today, I believe that it can be contagious. Hallelujah. When you are going for a visa interview in one of these developed countries, one of the texts they will ask you to do is one of these venereal infectious texts. Hallelujah. So they know that you are not carrying an infectious disease you can transfer to their citizens. This guy was a leper. But because he was rich, look at what happened. The almighty Yeshua was invited and he couldn't refuse. Shout fire. fire. The almighty Yeshua was invited by a sickly leper. But because he was rich, Yeshua went to his home. Amen. As you give your offering today, may Yeshua remember you and bless you financially. Amen. I didn't hear that your amen well. Amen. There have been so many occasions in the Bible, even in the New Testament, where Yeshua prayed for sick people, prayed for leprous people, there was a man that came to Jesus and the, the prayer request he presented to Jesus, he said, I am leprous. If you are willing, you can make me clean. And Jesus answered and said, yes, I am willing and touch him and his leprosy left him instantly. Not everybody who was sick in the days of Jesus or attended the crusade of Jesus received their healing. Amen. Have you thought of it before? Not everybody who attended the crusade of Yeshua received their healing. Amen. In Matthew chapter 12, the woman with the issue of blood could have gone home, could have returned home, heavily disappointed, not because power was not present, but because her faith was not lifted to the level of where the power was. Amen. But she went home fulfilled and satisfied because Jesus said, I have not seen this kind of faith before. Her faith was so lifted that power came out of Jesus' body uh -huh. without his permission. Amen. And Jesus proclaimed and said, power has left me. Amen. That is what I was talking about last Sunday when I said, I feel heavily exhausted. Power has what? Left me. Without his permission. How many of us today can provoke the hand of God? You provoke it. You know when you provoke a man? And the man is not supposed to manifest, but because you provoke him, he manifests. Amen. Meaning that even when Yeshua is not willing to release, there is something you do that provokes him, that releases the power. In the days of the kings of Israel, each and every king that came to sit on the throne had a prophet who was anointed and ordained specifically for the king. So God can speak to the king and together, the prophet and the king can lead the people of God. But when it came to Solomon, we never heard of any prophet. Why we never heard of any prophet was because Solomon didn't need a prophet. He needed God himself. And God himself came down. The Bible said when he sacrificed a thousand bulls to God, God did not send an angel. God did not send a prophet or a prophetess. God himself came down. Shall fire. fire. Oh, I didn't hear your fire well. Fire. God Himself came down. He said, Pasolo, why have you provoked me in this manner? Tell me what you want me to do for you. Amen. How many of us today, my question is, you are about to give an offering to God. 
and there is a hole in that two quarter, five quarter you are holding to God. Ask yourself, is it enough to provoke God? Is it enough to provoke God? Listen, church. Salvation is individual. Amen. Salvation is individual. There is nothing like corporate salvation. Your encounter with God is individual. The Bible said on the road to Patmos, when the light shone and the voice spoke in the voice, he specifically targeted Paul. And everybody else fell as though they were dead. But for Paul, he was connected to the voice. And the voice gave him specific direction, specific address where he must go. It is personal. Hallelujah. Your problem is different from my problem. And your problem is different from your neighbor's problem. And therefore, you must not look at your neighbor when it comes to having an encounter with the most high. With the most high. The offering we give is the same money we use to buy electricity to run the church. It's the same money we use to pay the workers of the church. True or false? But guess what? You are not giving it to man. You are giving it to the owner of the church. He said, I will build the church of Elijah. The church of Amanda. Is that what he said? The church of the bishop. The church of the prophet. The church of the apostle. Is that what he said? What did he say? My church. And who was speaking? Yeshua. The owner of the New Testament church. He said, I will build my church. In Malachi 3, he said, bring your tithes and your offering to the church. So there will be food in my storehouse. So Yeshua in the Old Testament was the church. And in the New Testament, he still remains the owner of the church. So you give it to the servant of God, but in reality, you are giving it to the covenant God of the man. I didn't hear your amen. Amen. You are giving it to the God who has had a covenant with a man to represent him. And the one who will bless you in return is not a man, but the God of the man. Amen. Shout a better, I hear you. I hear you. He was leprous. And Jesus left his house and he still remained leprous. There is no record in the Bible that said, Simon the leper. So surely Yeshua can enter into your life and your big ears in fact. A big ears in fact. Say, I hear you. I hear you. At this very hour, at this very hour, as I am speaking, somebody who was not supposed to die is giving up his last breath to die. Why? Because he has not connected to the God who gives life. That very day that Lazarus died, certain people died. But when Lazarus woke up, certain people did not wake up. Why? Because Lazarus connected, yes. had a relationship with the Most High. Jesus went into the house of a leper, Simon the leper, because he invited him for a meal. And the Bible said, why Jesus was reclining in a chair, the woman with a precious box of oil, the alabaster box of oil, broke it at his feet and they all got offended. In fact, Simon the leper said, if Jesus indeed is a prophet, he would have known. The caliber of woman that is massaging his feet and pouring oil on his head. And Judas, that day, that day, got so offended that when he left the, the, the house of Simon, he went to the Pharisee and said, what will you offer me if I betray this man and tell you his secret that I know so you can kill him? Judas was so offended to the fact that the Bible said he was offended because he was in charge of all the offering that comes into church. And he paid him that this money, this oil was not sold. And the money brought to the church so he can find a way to steal. Not my words, the words of the scriptures. So Jesus left that man's house with his problem not solved. Why? I want you to understand that when it comes to spirituality, it is not everything that is prayer. Shout, I hear you. I hear you. It is not everything that is what? prayer. The Bible said, as soon as the three men ate the food of Sarah, 
and they washed their hands and their soul was rejoicing and satisfied they prophesied to Sarah he said, according to the time of life a year by this time your wife Sarah will bear you a son why was it after they ate that they had to prophesy there are certain things no matter how many hours you spend in prayer you will never receive an answer there are certain things that can only open the doors of heaven and touch the heart of God on his throne through sacrifice through offering Shout, I hear you. I hear you. I want you to think about it carefully. Apostle Dr. Elijah Coffee King is worth hearing.